Good evening, I'm Mark Kiesling. We started the week with a murder mystery in Marion. Tonight, we know more about what happened to Jade Beasley and who investigators say stabbed the sixth grade student to death. News 3's Denise Turner joins us live in studio with a closer look at this case and today's developments. Mark, details were at a premium since Saturday, but that changed today after hundreds of hours of work by investigators and a break in the case. Not soon after, officials announced today, 11-year-old Jade Beasley was lost in this gruesome crime. Now they say she died at the hands of someone she knew. Officers on scene, you need to expedite. Expedite now. Authorities on Saturday didn't know what they were dealing with when a call for help went out. Now they know the woman who called for help may have stabbed the young victim to death. 29 year old Julia Beverly of Williamson County. She said that she left the residence with Jade alone in the home for a short time and returned home to find an unidentified male fleeing. Uh, the investigation has proven this story to be false. Beverly, the longtime live-in partner of the victim's father, was arrested around 1 o'clock Wednesday afternoon and charged with three counts of first-degree murder. Beverly now sits in Williamson County Jail on a $2 million bond. These first-degree murder charges uh, carry with them possible penalties of 20 to 60 years in the Department of Corrections and if determined uh, extended term eligible, up to 120 years. 11-year-old Jade Marie Beasley attended Marion Junior High School. The school administration tells News 3 they will contribute to the Memorial Fund and have grief counselors on hand for students dealing with loss. Given the gruesome nature of this violent crime that caused the death of an 11-year-old girl, to say this has been difficult for all of us is a very vast understatement. An autopsy was performed on Sunday. Now evidence collected will go to the Illinois State Forensic Lab in Bellevue. Meanwhile, Beverly is expected to have her first court appearance on Friday. In studio, Denise Turner, News 3.